Hi, my name is Sean Grimes and I'm the Director of Technology for the Digital Harbor Foundation. I wanted to talk to you today about why we use the computers that we do for our programs. So when we first opened, we were very fortunate to get some donations of some Windows laptops. We were very thankful for them and they, they served us well for a while. Um, as we got larger and, and more successful, we were able to make decisions about what we could buy. And I chose MacBooks as our leading platform. So MacBooks are traditionally more expensive, but I wanted to tell you why we do go with these. So the one thing that I like about MacBooks is that they can run the Mac OS or the Windows OS. So I'm really getting two computers for the price of one. With a Windows computer, I can really only run Windows on it or maybe Linux. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to run the Mac operating system on it, so I'm not going to be able to use Mac tools or things like that. When we got our MacBooks, we were able to install Windows on some of them uh, and run both Mac and Windows depending on what we chose when we started the computer up. And they do this through a program called Boot Camp that comes for free on all the Mac platforms. The Mac laptops are also very high performing Windows machines. So in fact, our Mac laptops outperform most of our Windows machines that we do have in space. So we can run our 3D scanning software much better on our Mac laptops than we can on our Windows laptop. Another aspect of the Mac laptops that I like is uniformity and creativity, two aspects that live very well cohesively in the Mac platform. So because Macs only produce a limited number of Mac types, it's very easy to get cases that will fit them. So our programs, our Mini Maker, our NanoLab programs have blue cases. And our middle and high school programs have black cases. So we always know which laptops are supposed to go where. The other thing that I like from customization point of view is that our kids can put stickers on their laptops. And these just go right on the outside of the case. And when that kid has left or when, we're, when it's filled up with stickers, we can replace the case. So that gives our youth a, a chance to be creative and, and to um, impose some ownership over the laptop that they're using. They might cut out some vinyl decals that signify something important to them, or maybe just their name so that they feel some ownership over that machine, even though it's still our machine. Because Macs are, are pretty uniform, it's easy to get accessories that will be used between the different ones. We always had a problem where we had some Asus laptops and some HP laptops, and the different power cords between the different machines didn't work. So we always had to make sure we had the right power cord for the right machine. The battery life on the Mac laptops is also tends to last much longer than the Windows laptops. Our Windows laptops pretty much have to stay plugged in almost all of the time, where our Mac laptops are only plugged in in the closet, and then they're used for about three hours during our programs, and they don't need to be plugged in at all during that time. So why laptops? We like our space to be very reconfigurable, and we like our youth to be able to be mobile when they're working. So we don't have to worry about a keyboard, a monitor, or a mouse, and where they're going to go, and where they're going to plug in. With a laptop, it could be a table that's over here, or we could move the table, and it doesn't need to be near an outlet necessarily in order for the youth to use it. This also means that they could work at a couch, or we could go into a conference room and work, and they can have a whiteboard. It allows them to move with their equipment. Now, that doesn't mean that they're running around our space with laptops in their hand, but it does mean that they can move to wherever they need to to get their work done, and they're not constrained to sit in one spot in a computer lab uh, to get their computer work done. I want to share a tip with you that we discovered in our third through fifth grade program. It's also something that I've seen in professional workshops that is very effective. So on e each of our laptops, we have this little Velcro dot, and on it, we can place this tag and the tag has a green side and a red side. Now this is just red and green electrical tape wrapped around a piece of poster board. And so as the youth are working, you, you give them a task or a skill. When they complete that task, they can change it so the green flag is up, and this signals to the t instructor that they are done that task and they are waiting for the next task at hand. Also, if they are having trouble or struggling, they could change it to the red flag. And this lets the instructor know that they need some additional help or maybe some additional time to complete the task. This same thing could be done with just red and green post-it notes. And you can post the note on the back of the computer.